Okay, I'm gonna grab a stencil here and use some of the shapes on here to create designs on my mandala. So I'm gonna grab a permanent ink pen and I could use the grid lines or the grid spaces to mark my shape. I think I will use this shape to begin with. I'm going to use my grid lines to line up this little square mark on the edge, on the, on the inside edge, and look that my, op, my uh, line goes right through the middle of those little ovals. Now I'm going to turn this around, mirror it so that it's exactly the same but on the opposite side, mirror image, and trace the same pieces of it again. And you can see the start of my mandala. I think I will now use this little piece for the opposite sides. I'm going to place the edge of this circle with the center of my page here and make sure that line runs right down the middle. Of course I will do the same thing on the opposite side. Line it up so the line goes through the middle. To this, of course, I can add my own hand drawings too. So I think I'll do that now with some of these pieces here. So I did my stencil pieces and then I added some of my own hand drawings here and there. And now what I want to do is I want to use a set of stamps to create some more lines on my mandala. And this set of stamps, let me move this out of the way so you can see it a little bit better, is just a uh, little filigree pieces. I'm not even sure what the stamp company is. I tend to take the name off of them. But you can see there's some pretty little swirls here and there that I could use on my mandala. And this piece right here mimics some of the piece, some of the objects I already have going here. So I think I'm going to use this as one of my first stamps. And the process is pretty much the same as what we did with the stencils, except we're going to use a stamp to do it. And I'm going to line this up on the grid lines that I have on my stamp pad so I can line up I mean on my on my stamp block so I can line up the lines on my stamp block with the lines that are here. Now you don't have to have one that's got lines on it and, and I just created this. This is a regular acrylic block, a rather dirty one as you can see here and I took an X-Acto knife with a ruler and made some straight lines to create a grid. 
that's all I did. And so that's just kind of etched in there now with an X-Acto knife. That's all I did there. Okay. okay, so you see here I've got a couple of grids in between each one of these, and I think I'm going to add that directly to the center of each of those grids. Not a very good stamped image. I'm standing at an awkward angle so you could see it on the camera. If I was doing this at my usual stamping station, I would be doing a better job of it. Need to clean this off real quick. Look. Oh, looky there, I got a little bit of my stays on cleaner on there. That was not good. I hope I can cover that up. See if I can stand at a better angle and get this right this time <laughs> without hitting the camera, hopefully. You probably can't see this on the uh, camera because of the lighting, but I'm lining up the tip of this mark with the edge of this guide that I drew earlier. And so it goes. I think I'll do some more hand marking now.